Oh, Ruben Neves. Oh, Ruben Neves. Ruben Neves. My God, why has nobody bought him yet? How has no top six club bought this man yet? What is going on, guys? It is JJ here back with another footballing video for the Premier League. And I just want to start off by not only um, thanking Wolves. Thank you, Wolves. Uh, but I just want to say Arsenal. As a Chelsea fan, I feel you. Um, everybody takes this out from Wolves. Every one of the top six is taking this out from Wolves. It's a mad thing. Nobody is safe from Wolves. So, really, I, 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 there's no consolation to it. Obviously, when it comes down the stretch, every team, you need every bit of points to make the, to, to not make the Europa League. It's literally the battle for the Champions League at this point. Chelsea move into fourth officially, above by one point, and we're going we're gonna to look at why. Uh, in the Wolves versus Arsenal highlights, because this game, if you are a Wolves fan, this this is like a sign that Wolves could, if they wanted to, compete with the top six next year because they batter the top six teams. Like it's it's unreal. Uh, so yeah, let's get into the video. We're gonna take a look at the Wolves versus Arsenal highlights uh, from Wednesday evening. As well, guys, you can find the original video just down in the description below. And I do apologize for the blur on the screen. Unfortunately, the Premier League is really tight uh, on their copyright uh, image rights. So you guys will still be able to hear it. It is still English commentary. Uh, but yeah, yeah. So thank you guys so much still for watching. Let's get into the video. This Wolves team, they they always show up in the 3-5-2. It, it becomes like a 3-1-4-2. And it, it just, I don't know what it is about that formation that just, it's, it's like a remedy for the top six. It, it reminds me of Antonio Conte when he introduced the back three in his fresh, or not freshman year, his first year for Chelsea. Uh, no team could really figure out how to top it. Like, no team could figure their way around it because they couldn't score on Chelsea. Uh, it's the same for Wolves when they play teams in the top six. It's, it's like kryptonite. It's, it's wild. <sighs> just just taking pop shots at, at Bern Leno. It is Ruben oh, Ruben Neves. Neves. Oh, Ruben Neves. Ruben Neves. My God, why has nobody bought him yet? How has no top six club bought this man yet? All he does is score mad goals and put in mad midfield performances. Somebody has to get him away from Wolves. He is so, so good. Wolves are just peppering Arsenal. This is just a travesty. And Mevis almost made a second free kick. Oh, wow. Wow. That's, that's all I can say is wow. Lacazette, so you did all of that to then sky the shot by about 30 yards. I think you described it perfectly. What he did in the... Yeah, Arsenal just looked woeful defensively. Burn Leno did not have himself a good day. Oh, that's, that's, yeah. Every single one of them were onside. Wilf, Wilfred Boley, essentially in that, like, in that set piece, he is playing a pawn. Uh, his job is to get Socrates to come with him. And so he stands still, so Socrates will let everyone else run by him. And Socrates fell for it so hard. Four people ran by Socrates as he was technically playing them all on side. One of which scored the goal. So, it, it's just, that's how, that's how you utilize your tallest player that way. Oh, and then just, Leno's got to save that. Three goals in the first half. That is crazy to me. That is, oh. Arsenal, Arsenal, Arsenal. I, 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 I feel you. I feel you. Okay. We still, we all get beat by wolves. All the, all the top six clubs get beat by wolves. But I don't think any has been this bad. Wolves dominated this game. They, sh they could have had like five, six goals. Your men has had another shot. Second touch. This gives the defender a chance. Goals. Gendouzi sliding it through. Luck is that had a woeful day. Socrates at least he, he so he got 
Got a consolation goal. So that that at least makes it, it doesn't make up for his woeful defensive errors. It's just this team, Arsenal fans. What what does this team need to work on? Because I feel like every team that isn't Liverpool and Man City need certain players, but there just aren't enough good players to fix these teams. I feel like at this like it, it just feels so overwhelming at times. Like I'm trying to think of players that could fix Ars Arsenal. Need a new midfielder. They need a new defense. They need someone to help out the attack. It's it's and it's the same for Chelsea. It's the same for Manchester United. It's the same for Tottenham. It's 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 tough. It's tough not being the top two at the moment. Um, Wolves, on the other hand, congrats to you guys. If you're a fan of Wolverhampton, you're a fan of Wolves. I know the season's still been tough, obviously, because Wolves have, have struggled to get results against teams of lesser quality. Um, but they always just show out against the top six. And it must be a pleasure to watch. Uh, the, arguably, the, the giant killer, Wolves. The best promoted team, probably. Of, of all time in the Premier League era. They, they've just been so good. Uh, but let me know you guys' thoughts on the match in the comments below. Uh, Arsenal fans, how are you guys feeling after this match? Obviously, Chelsea play United this weekend. Let me know if you guys, what, what result you guys want from that. If you're a Wolves fan, the battle for 7th is on. You guys can still end up in Europe themselves. So, uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, though. Let me know down in the comments below, and peace.